The other night I went to see Wonder and it was wonderful. Um, I always, I just keep doing that. And yeah, it was just great. It was everything I wanted it to be. It was so sweet, so adorable, so wonderful. And the message was great. The actors, the performances, everything was just everything I wanted it to be. Um, it was so wonderful. So I've said that like three times already, but it was. And I was inspired by that to talk about some book to movie adaptations that I'm excited about in the coming year slash two years because there's one that's like in 2019. It's it's far away but I'm excited about it so I want to talk about it. Um, first though, let's talk about one that I'm not that excited about but I wanted to mention because I want to talk about it. Ascendant. Um, Allegiant Part 2, Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is supposed to be the final Divergent movie. It was supposed to come out last year. It didn't. Or this year. This year. It was supposed to come out this year but it didn't. Um, and I sort of, you know, like, one day I was just like, hey, what happened to Ascendant? Where is, where is that? Um, so apparently it's coming to TV. It's going to be a TV movie coming to Stars, I believe. And I think there's going to be a spin-off TV show, or at least that's what articles are saying. Um, and most interestingly, Shailene Woodley, who plays Triss, and Theo James, who plays Four, are not going to be returning. So, like, what's that going to look like? Like, what's the final movie of Divergent going to be without Tristan 4? I don't know. Um, like, it's enough that it's coming to TV, but, like, with the main people not in it, I don't, like, I don't know if it's going to happen. If it does happen, what is that going to look like? Like, it's just a mess. You know what I mean? Um, and it's sad. It's sad that it's turned into this direction. It's sad that it's gotten to this low point. Um, who knows? Maybe it could be, like, a really great TV movie. Probably not. Now on to exciting movies that I'm excited about. The first one that's coming up is The Death Cure by James Dashner. I have a computer over here, by the way. Um, and yeah, The Death Cure by James Dashner is the final movie in the, the Maze Runner trilogy. It comes out on the 26th of January next year. It's directed by Wes Bull, who directed all of them, starring Dylan um, O'Brien and like the normal cast. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything to say about this other than that it's the last one. I'm excited to see it, but like I've forgotten the last movie, it's a distant memory. I need to rewatch it. Then we have Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli. That comes out on the 16th of March next year. It's directed by Greg Berlanti and it's starring Nick Robinson as Simon, Josh Dehoma as his dad, Jennifer Garner as his mom, Carlton Haynes as Kevin, and Keenan Lonsdale as Bram. 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 <laughs> um, and yeah. I'm really excited about this. This is going to be so, so exciting. I'm going to watch the trailer as well. I'll link that as well. And it looks exactly how I want it to look. I was a bit iffy about Nick um, Robinson. Like, I don't know. He just didn't scream Simon to me. Um, but I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm coming to accept him as Simon. I think it's going to be, like, good. I think he's going to do a good job. And it just looks like it's going to be sweet and adorable. And I can't wait to go to the movies with my Oreos and watch the movie and just be, like, really happy and just feel the adorable feelings. And I'm really hoping that that's what it's going to give me. I feel like it will. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait. Then we have Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This is coming out on the 30th of March. It's directed by Steven Spielberg, which is very exciting. Um, and it's starring Ty Sheridan, who plays Wade, the main character. Um, the trailer for this is also out. I feel like it's one of those trailers, it is one of those trailers that shows, like, action-y sequences, but doesn't really show the storyline. I hope that there is a, there's probably gonna be another trailer that, like, shows more of, like, um, the premise, but I hope it doesn't spoil things. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited to see more of that world and to see more of the trailers. Um, and I'm excited for, like, just to see visually the movie. I feel like it's gonna be great, Steven Spielberg. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for it, and I can't wait to see how everything looks. After that, we have a TV show, actually. It is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. It is coming out on in June 2018. It's created and written by Marty Noxon, and also written by Gillian Flynn. Um, and it's starring Amy Adams as Camille. I'm so excited for Amy Adams. I love Amy, Amy Adams, and I feel like everything that she does is like high quality, really good, and I'm just, I feel like, yes. The town that's in this um, book is so interesting and creepy, and the characters as well are so creepy that I'm glad we're getting to explore them more and to get like a more in-depth view of it. There are some pictures that I found of the movie, which I'm so excited to like see anything. Um, so I'm gonna show you on here because I don't wanna edit the pictures in. Um, I might have to though, but yeah, Amy Adams, you know, in like a, 
weird place. It says no miners on the door, and there's like plastic chairs, and it looks decrepit. Decrepit is that the right word? But yeah, and then um, this picture as well of like inside the house with Adora. Um, and Camille. And finally, Chaos Walking. I'm so excited about this, I'm so excited. It's coming out on the 1st of March 2019. Um, it's already in my diary, I'm ready for it. Um, it's directed by Doug Lemon, who directed Age of Tomorrow and The Born Identity, and it's starring, let's talk about this cost. Let's talk about this cost, because it is a cost. Um, so Tom Holland plays Todd. Um, Tom Holland, who was Spider-Man recently, and I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure about this, because he's older than I was expecting, and I think they're just going to make everyone older, as they always do. Um, but I think I've come around to it. T Tom Holland, the actor, is so likable that I think it's, like, affecting, like, like my, whether or not I like him playing this role. The next person is Daisy Ridley, who's playing, um, Viola E. She was Rey in Star Wars. I also came around to this. You know, she's obviously a good actress, and I feel like it'll be good. And obviously, with these two stars, this is gonna be a big movie, um, and definitely, like, a blockbuster. I feel like they are going to combine all of the books. Um, it is called Chaos Walking, and I just feel like, I feel like they're gonna combine everything, which I feel not happy about, I don't think. There's a lot that happens in the trilogy. I feel like it could happen. Um, there's definitely a lot of battles that I think will have to be condensed, but I think it could be done. Definitely would be better as a trilogy, but, you know, I'm, I'm optimistic. I hope it's gonna be okay, but I wish they had, like, you know, to split it up into three movies or, like, two movies or something. Um, the next casting is Mads Mikkelsen, who is playing, um, Mayor Prentice. I'm so glad about this. Like, immediately I was like, yes, he's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. The last casting that I want to talk about is Davy Prentice Jr., who's going to be played by Nick Jonas. Um, no. Nick Jonas, Disney Nick Jonas, is gonna be Mad Mikkelsen's, Mad Mikkelsen's son in this. I don't, I don't comprehend that. I have not seen him in anything since Camp Rock, but, <laughs> you know, people grow and change. He's different. He will hopefully, you know, fully just get into the role of Dave Prentice Jr. and we'll see. If you go on Tom Holland's Instagram page, he has a dog, right? I don't know if he has another dog, and he had a picture with, like, a different dog, and I was like, is that who I think it is? Is that Manji? Is that Manji? Like, is it? Um, and he was, like, filming cast walking at the time, so I don't know. Go and check his, if you know, like, who, like, if you're, like, a Tom Holland fan and you know, it, like, this is his dog and this is definitely not his dog, um, let me know. Before I go, I just wanted to mention some movies that I'd heard about and that are, like, in production or have, um, like, you know, something going on with them, they're not just announced, um, that are intriguing to me but I haven't read the book, so I wanted to mention them, maybe you can tell me if I should, there's just three. The first one is The Goldfinch. Um, it's directed by John Crowley, it's written by Peter Strahan, and it is going to be starring Ansel Elgort and Paul, Paul, Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson is, like, the draw to me for this. Also, I've heard really good things about The Goldfinch. The next one is, I'm probably going to read, um, it is The Darkest Minds by Alexander Brecken. It is directed by Jennifer Hugh Nelson, and it is starring Mandy Moore, Gwendolyn Christie, and Amanda Stenberg. Um, and yeah. I just am very intrigued by this. It seems like a pretty cool cast. And the last one is Where'd You Go, Bernadette, which is directed by Richard Linklater. Is that Richard Linklater who directed Boy? Because then I might have to, like, definitely read it. It is Richard Linklater who directed Boy. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be reading Where'd You Go, Bernadette. Um, and yeah, it's written by Maria, Maria Simple, and it's starring, and this is what I thought was, like, drawing me to um, read this or watch this, but I'm definitely going to read it now. Um, but yeah, it's starring Kate Blanchett, Kristen Wiig, Judy Greer, and a bunch of other really great people as well. Um, and yeah, those are the three movies that I, I feel like I'm going to read all of them now, so I was going to be like, which one should I read? I feel like I'm going to read all of them, um, and watch all of them. Um, Where'd You Go Burned It is supposed to come out on the 11th of May next year, so yeah books to read. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.